go ahead and get started with uh, some opening comments from Coach. Well, I think uh, you know certainly the the storyline of the game. Uh, you know, we didn't uh, we didn't make enough plays to win, and uh, certainly with you know four turnovers in a game like this, uh, it's awfully hard. And I think that honestly, we were in the game. I thought our defense played really well, and I thought it was led by uh, Joe Schobert. You know, made some big plays and big moments. Um, you know, offensively, we we didn't uh, we weren't good on third down, and and the turnovers. You know, I think all their points came off of our turnovers, and and certainly we've got to be better in a lot of areas on offense and, and defensively, like I said, I thought they gave us a chance to to have a chance and um, we didn't capitalize on it at the end. Mike's on either side. Go to the, uh, the turnover on the one yard line. Did that kind of take air out of your guys? Was that kind of hard for them to overcome mentally? Well, I mean, absolutely take some wind out of your sail, but I thought, you know, guys, next one on the field, you know, I thought they uh, rose up to it, but but absolutely, you know, Joel gets got stepped on, and uh, and we still had a chance to recover it even when it was on the ground, and, and we didn't. But, uh, yeah, that obviously is a huge play in the game. I'm back. Uh, several Several times it seemed like Joel Stavi couldn't feel the pressure coming from the blind side. Uh, is that a problem that you can fix? Does it seem like you might not have an internal clock on him? I think Joel's got a pretty good awareness of everything. You know, he was getting ready to know the sack fumble, the, the strip. He was getting ready to throw it, and um, you, know, you know we'll look at it and see. But as a as a whole, I thought you know Joel has played with pretty good awareness to. Uh, the situation and it's hard you know when you're trying to you know you need to make a play um, and and we've got to be better in, in a lot of areas and not all on him but certainly he'd be the first to take his responsibility in it and, and just as I do and everyone uh, we, we, we need to be better we can be better um, but I don't know if it's I think there's a flaw in his game that way. I wouldn't necessarily agree with that. Jim. Paul, going back to the fumble on the goal line, you talk about details a lot. Is that kind of what you're saying there? Is, I mean, is that just a simple footwork mishap when that happens, or how does that happen? Yeah, you know, I just caught the, the tail end of the replay on it, and, and uh, you know, she get everyone involved. And, you know, it's it's the foot coming back, and, and I didn't see that Joel took a f step in you know, so like a false step type deal. And yet, you know, we still got to protect the ball I mean, no matter what the situation is. And that's, those are uh, hard lessons to learn, but we got to protect the football, uh, you know, in, in all areas. And, and we obviously didn't do that today. And I think it, it had a huge part in the result of this game, obviously. Tom Paul, can you win games when you don't run for 100 yards and you Average like two and a half yards a carry. I think it's really hard, especially if you're not good on third down in the pass game. You, you know, and and I think you have to. You know, there's going to be games where you you're going to you know win it running the football, and you've got to win it throwing the ball. And and I didn't think we were consistent enough at either one today to to really be as good as we need to be today. Lance, in the back. Uh, Coach, what's your level of concern with Rafael in the kicking game right now? I think four misses already this season. Yeah, and, and some of them have, have been, uh, you know, not easy. You're not talking about chip shots. Uh, and so I think he certainly uh, gives us our best chance. And, uh, you know, we've got to help him out, I think, offensively. And he'll have his moments, and, and he'll make some big kicks for us throughout this season. There's no doubt in my mind. But, you know, clearly it's not how he would want it, you know, not what we do. But uh, he'll, be, he'll, he'll be good, and, and, and he'll have his moments, and he'll rise up to him, I believe. Jeff. Paul, you mentioned your bottom line is protect the ball on that goal line fumble. 
I know it's a bang bang decision, but ideally, do you want the quarterback if he's falling back to just eat it and just go on to the next play there, or try to make that handle? No, I mean, you, you know, you absolutely right now. You'd say you got to hold on to it, and if you can't get there, um, it's happened before. I've seen it on film, and he's made the exchange. Uh, but you you have to take care of the football, and and offensively, there's so many guys that are in. Everyone has to own that. You know, and, and certainly Joel was in on it right there. Uh, it's, it truly is one of those where all, all 11 can, can take ownership of that. And today we weren't good enough and, and played a huge part in this game and the result not being what we wanted. Jason. Coach, how difficult did it make it on this last couple of drives when you don't have uh, Erickson and, and Trailer out there, two of your most consistent receiving threats? No, they, you know, uh, you want to have all your guys if you can. And yet I thought, you know, Reg, you made a couple, you know, made a big play and, and uh, Foom had a nice catch and, and you guys have to step in and, and that's, uh, we're not unique in that area. And you always want your players playing, but uh, that wasn't the case and, and we've got to overcome that. And that's where I think we've got to grow and we've got to get better. Rob, in the back. Coach, many of the players on this team have been through this before where they've lost a Big Ten opener and still achieved their goal of getting to a conference championship game. What do you call on as a coaching staff and the leaders to lean on for this team? Obviously, with still so much of the season to go. There is. There's a, there's a ton of see That's our first Big Ten game and it didn't go the way we wanted. Uh, first, first guy that said something in the locker room afterwards was Joe Schobert and said, hey, Coach, same thing happened to us last year. And, and like we've talked about, uh, the end of the year, you'll get what you earn. And the thing we got to focus on, the opportunity that we have is uh, this next week against Nebraska. And, and there is, you know, the games like this, they hurt to lose. And we've got to take that pain and take those the frustration, take the lessons, and that's got to, help fuel us so that we get better. Jim. Paul, you look pretty upset about the non-targeting call on the Fumagalli play near the, the goal line. Did you get an explanation? Did, did they see it and it wasn't, or did they say they didn't see anything? Uh, they, um, the other officials were good communicating to me, and, uh, and obviously that's not something that once it happens, and, and you know we've been told that the officials will err on the side of player safety. Um, and so that's, uh, that's all I'd say. I'm back. Uh, from what you've seen through the first five games of the season, is the running game issue a running back problem or a line problem? I think it's everyone on offense. And we've had some times where we've – and today I thought we, you know, there were some good runs, but we haven't been consistent. And so I think we all have to own it, all want to own it, quite honestly. Steven? Did you expect this type of breakout from Joe Schobert at this point in the season? What is he doing differently to, to get to this point to be so dominant? I've been impressed with Joe, you know, ever since I started watching tape of him and then when you're around him. And, and there are – there's a lot of guys that did some good things on defense, you know, and I don't want to make this just about Joe. You know, there was a lot of guys, and that's what's – the great thing about this game is it's a team game. And then even if you take the units, you know, and we're talking about the defensive unit right now, it takes everyone. And but getting back specifically, I don't want to sound like I am not surprised. I think any time you do it, that's what's great about competition is you have to do it and over and over. But for what Joe does and – and I think the moments he does them in, it's really impressive. But it's, uh, he'd be the first one, and my guess is the first one to admit, it's all 11. And in many ways, it's more than that. You know, it's, it's, it's the group. But no, I'm not surprised, because I think that he's earned the right to where you expect it a little bit. Mac, in the second half, it, you played with the package with two fullbacks quite a bit. Did you see that open up the running game at all? Or, or did that toughness, did their toughness open up the running game at all? Well, I think that, you know, in games like this, 
there's times where you're, you're prying to try to figure out what can get you into a rhythm. And I thought it gave us some things. Um, and yet we didn't do enough to uh, score enough points to win. But uh, I thought that it, it did give us, it kind of sparked us on some plays. And, and uh, you know, we got to get better. Is there any update on Alex Erickson? He's going through the uh, concussion protocol right now. Anything else for Coach? All right, All right. Thank you. Thanks, Coach.